Mr. John Jones was in attendance, you know, at the weekend because his fight has now been announced, confirmed for November. Stephen Miocic will be the guy that he stood across from him in the Madison Square Garden octagon. Somebody stuck a microphone in John's face at the weekend and he confirmed, it came out of his mouth this, so I'm taking it as confirmation, that November will be his last one. And if that's true, if he's 100% confirming to us, my fight with Stephen Miocic in November is the last one that I'm ever going to do, then there is no point, in my opinion, right now for the UFC, having that as the UFC heavyweight title fight. Have the fight. Have the Legends fight. Have the dance off into the sunset. No problem. I'll come and I'll watch it and I'll enjoy it and I'll celebrate one of the greatest mixed martial arts careers of all time if you're bowing out. In fact, two of the best martial arts careers of all time if you're both bowing out. But you're holding up the division for the sake of what? It has no benefit whatsoever to the UFC if by the time we get to the day after the fight, you're out, you're gone. We might as well move the division on now. We might as well say, right, Tom Aspinall is going to be fighting this person and that is going to be the heavyweight undisputed title fight. I mean, there is two ways to look at this because as fighters, I've seen it many a times. How many times do people say it's the last one and it's not the last one, Adam? Do you know what I mean? I mean, we've all said it in jest and we've all come back before. Um, so it's like he said it on a passing interview. I've seen it. He was rushing out the arena. You know, it wasn't like a sit down. This is what's happening. I've seen the interview talking about, or the clip, sorry. Um, so what I'd say on this is, let the Stipe thing happen, yeah? Let's see who wins that. If he, if that is the last one, and that's the end of it, then the belt goes over. But, here's the but. What if he doesn't again? And he sits there for another year saying, no, nah, I'm not retired. I'm just waiting for another fight, and then we don't get another fight. So, it's a double-edged sword, this one. And that's where I'm at. Because the last time he fought was of February last year. Yeah. So we've had this we've had this weird, weird bottleneck. And don't get me wrong, the UFC added to it by creating an interim championship and then not making the interim title guy fight the undisputed guy when the undisputed guy came back. He's been out injured. I get it. I completely get the reason for the interim title. But the interim title should be being unified with the undisputed title. That's what should be being happened. Now... Okay, they've made an exception because he's the GOAT. I get it. I get that. So you're giving him what he wanted, his original fight against the heavyweight GOAT. Cool, man. It's a lovely nostalgia fight. But if the guy's serious and he's doing interviews and saying, I'm checking out, this is the UFC. The best is supposed to be fighting the best. We're not here just to massage people's egos. At the end of the day, if he's checking out, he's on his way out, we go, cool. You're the main event at Madison Square Garden. Have your moment. We'll have a big celebration. We'll all have a wicked time. But this guy's the undisputed champion, mate. This is where we're going now. Because the division has to move on. Well, what I'd say on this then, Adam, my take would be like, okay, after, as soon as he's fought Stipe Miocic, you know, you either do the stare down with Tom Aspinall and you unify the belts or you, you keep it moving. There has to be a cut-off point, don't there? So let him have the fight. Let's do the stare down with Tom. Let's book the fight with Tom. If not, if we don't do that, and they're not going to do it, are they? It's pointless for me even saying this. What am I on about? They're not even going to do it, are they? Like, that's what should happen. That's what should happen. But do I think it will happen? Absolutely not. So me and you can sit on here all week, every week talking about it. It's just not, I just don't see him fighting, Tom. And if he does confirm that he's his last one, let him win. Let him go out as the undisputed heavyweight champion. Let him do that and then let him crack on with his life after that. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.